Do you receive, consolidate, and ship a large volume of small parcels? Magaya has the automation tools needed to manage the whole process, including printing shipping labels. This video walks you through the steps to create and print labels using the Courier Shipping Extension. Hi, I'm Kate from Magaya. Today, I'll show you how to create a new shipping label in the Courier Shipping Extension. Then, we'll look at the available options. And finally, we'll print the label. Let's get started. You can create a shipping label from a shipment or a cargo release. The first step is to check these two things, the entities and the packages. Check your customer address to make sure it's complete. The Courier Shipping Extension will fill in the Ship To information on the label by pulling it from the Release To field on a cargo release or from the ultimate consignee of a shipment. The Ship From is your company info. Then, on the Commodities tab, check that your packages have dimensions, weight, and a quantity. To create a shipping label, go to a shipment or cargo release. Then, click the Actions drop-down menu and select Extensions, Ship via Courier, and Create New Labels. This sends your shipment information from Magaya to the Courier Shipping Extension. Next, the extension opens. Let's see the options and then print the label. The best practice is to first click Perform Detailed Address Check so the extension validates the shipping address and format to avoid an error later. If you're shipping to a residence, not a business, check the residential box here. Select your carrier at the top of the screen from the drop-down menu under Carrier. If you already defined a default carrier, it'll show here automatically. If a signature is required, select Signature from the Delivery Confirmation drop-down menu. Under Service Type, you can find the available rates for the selected carrier. If the service type field is not active, verify that the dimensions and weight are correct according to the package type for this carrier. Now that you've selected the options you need, let's print the label. You can choose between ZPL and PDF format for your labels by selecting this drop-down arrow. Now click the Create Labels button and click Yes to confirm. When labels are created, they will open on the extension screen. After your labels are created, you can print them or download them to your computer. If you don't print your labels now, no problem. You can go back to the extension in Magaya later. To print existing labels, click the Actions drop-down menu and open the extension. Click View to see your previously created labels. The extension keeps track of how many labels were printed for each package. Did you know? You can print more than one label by selecting the transaction from the list of shipments or cargo releases. You can also print return labels to include in the shipment. Now you know how to create and print shipping labels. Next, arrange the pickup if you don't have a regular pickup scheduled. See our other videos and visit the knowledge base to get the most out of your Magaya software. Thanks for watching.